Hello, hello, it's World Beater here. We got a new mic, so hopefully it sounds a little better for you. Got a game between Phoenix King as the Dark Elves and Sipa as the Kislev, and it should be some really good showcase of micro here with Sipa and his cavalry, and let's get things started. So, first of all, we're gonna get Ostankia on her sled with just Flock of Doom, it looks like. Very good setup, really punishes Blobs, and then Malice with his transformation and the blood price and his demon's curse, really good leadership diva. And then we have a sorcerer of fire, assuming just burning hand, I had a guess, but we're really gonna show, showcase Sipa's micro here. Is he gonna pull his cavalry up and behind and start going after these range and just get at these witch elves? But it's gonna really cause Phoenix King to have to attack his micro because either he can send cavalry up here to defend against the sleds, or he's gonna have to send it over here to protect his archers. And we'll see which one he goes with. Sleds that re do really good damage into infantry though, and their shots do a lot of damage. Patriarch here too, just for healing, to heal up the sleds and this blob of infantry. One thing of the things in the woods, really good at just clearing through infantry and being on, even like with the good damage in the cold one nights if they don't get a counter charge there. Nice job by Sipa, really pulling out his micro as he gets a free charge here. Not much for taking some damage, but it's still going to be a free charge. As Phoenix King has to try to decide if he wants to keep Calvary in the front, if he off the sleds or try to defend his back foot. Good damage being done though from the sleds and from the... Horse archers just getting off damage, what damage they can get free basically. Really, really good damage here. Good thing about Kislev here is even if they did dive like this, they're still going to get their bio blood. So they're still going to be holding out here for a long time, just distracting these archers, making sure they can't be up here to help support. Nice shots from these Kislevs. <laughs> Pretty sure that, yeah, armored Kossars. Very good charge here. A little bit of a. sure what that was exactly, but nice, nice charge. <laughs> Big damage though from Alice, he's a really good duo, especially when he's popped Zarkand, he'll do even better. Shatters these witch elves, crazy. Also a little bit of a mistake, shouldn't be chasing these witch elves with the, with the skirmish cab. Just have something else to do, it really aren't armored, and it'll take a lot of damage. Like these, could be really good chasing after them. Witch elves do get on some of these flank souls, though, and they'll do pretty good damage here. Nice burning head, didn't get through. Looks like he got almost two of these units, very good job. A little bit sloppy on the sled micro though, as they really just need to keep on moving through these, and not really get try to get charged too much by the cold one nights, but still do amazing damage and nice shots into malice here. And more shots all around. Back foot has been very good for Sipa. He's done an amazing job just making sure he gets back here and getting all the stuff he needs to get on, and making sure his dervishes have been safe and getting their shots off into these witch elves or anything else they can get free shots off of. Looks like at this point both ranges shut down. Frontline is going very well for Kizla too, so. Something rather bleak for the Dark Hills is really not a lot has went their way. Things in the wood just going to tear up this infantry and then the infantry of the Kislev is going to do very well here in most fights. Nice shots getting off from these cold ones. Bear Set's still very healthy, lots of ammo, going to do good damage in anything that's left here. Mouse gets a little trapped up, I'd like to see him just try to path through here. And we're getting almost close to Army Loss's territory. Might have to transform Malice soon just to give it something to pull back. We'll see though what happens. As the range has been very well picked off by Sipa. A little bit of signaling is or starts to just get caught, but it's not the end of the world. He's winning really where he needs to win right now. Nice job just getting this like right flank kind of cleaned up for him as the middle goes mostly his way. A little bit sucky that he's letting him get trapped up here, in the sleds. But it's not the end of the world. Nice. I assume that was a that was casting fire cloak. Very good. Gonna do just some good damage to the sleds in general. Dervises are Armored co-stars are still getting their shots off, they need to get shots off, trying to anyways though. A little bit metal, looks like a little bit of line of sight problems, they're just not quite targeting them. Very nice crossfire here though, things was just routes off this right flank basically, because there really isn't any cold ones to stop them. Back foot just more getting just, everything back here is basically done now for now. Horse archers just getting shots off into which else for free, shatters them, very very good play. Amazing micro. Transference Malice, it's a little too late, I'm afraid, as really Malice can't kill all these things before he dies. And Sipa's going to do a really smart decision to just pull away from him because there's no need for him to gauge Malice at this point. Because basically his whole army is toast, and just throwing one unit at Malice will keep the attacking rules in play. And then it'll just keep him buffered in here. Very good job, though. Very, very clean play by Sipa. Very nice shots into Malice. He will just heal through it probably, but I'll just get him closer to that heal clap because he does damage himself by getting a little bit of health in return. 
as now the blob's just gonna go and hunt down these cold ones as Malice is stuck trapped in infantry and having to fight them, not really getting on these targets that he wants to get onto. So one of the bad things about Malice, he's a very strong combatant, especially in Zarkan's form, but you can get very trapped up here and can't really get the best use of him if the opponent knows what he's doing. Nice shots in here with the War Sleds. They're just going to get charged in here, and a deep Flock of Doom just going to do extra damage, immediately routes the Cold Ones, and we are pretty much in Army Lost Territory. Last thing that really needs to go is just Malice. Fast forward here a little. out oh, there it goes. All right, now getting into the damage values. Ostain Key got 1,600. Very good job. Patriarch was just there to heal and be a little bit of a melee. Sleds did amazing. Just flying through infantry and getting their shots off. The front line did what they needed to do. The things in the wood did very well. Malice didn't get... Got still good value, but really can get on the targets he wants, but in the end, Sorcerer of Fire did alright. And everything else probably just did alright. Dark Shards got shut down way a little too early, which kind of sucks, but it was a very good job by Simpa. Or Sipa. And anyways, catch you around tomorrow. Subscribe for more videos.